Hello all, thanks for watching my video. In this video, I demonstrate URL hacking approach for Salesforce Lightning experience. This feature is previously available only in Salesforce Class A. As part of Sprint 20 release, Salesforce introduced in Salesforce Lightning experience as well. So using this approach, we can pass some default value whenever we are creating a new record for the standard record creation page itself instead of developing the custom component. So this approach you can use either custom buttons or custom links or you can even use some your, your custom core logic as well. Before jumping with the lightning experience, I will quickly show you how we used in previously for the Salesforce Classic. Let me log in my developer account of the classic version. Here I created a button in account detail. So when I'm clicking this button, it's redirecting contact creation page of the standard creation page. From there, we pre-populated the last name, phone number, and some of the custom field value. If you noticed here, the last name is automatically populated and phone number is populated from account and the lead custom field also populated. For this approach, from the custom button, we are doing some URL hacking. I will show you how we are passing that URL parameters in the Salesforce Classic. From the Salesforce Classic, we are passing slash 003. That is nothing but your object name, first three characters. So here I'm using the contact creation so 003 is a contact three digit numbers and slash e name last count two is nothing but it's a last name field from contact object and content is a phone field number and cf and the 15 digit number of the custom field lookup field from contact object the cf is a three different value that is nothing but custom field and 15 digit ID of the lead custom field ID. Here we are passing that lookup value and lookup ID. The CF, the 15 digit ID of the custom field well, ID, the 15 digit ID underscore LK ID is a lookup ID. I will show you where we can get it this. Let me go back my class equation from the content creation form. Click the last name, right click, inspect. From here, you can get the last name input field ID. See that input ID as name underscore last contour. That is the one I am passing my button. Name underscore last contour. Here I am passing account name. Content, let me show you the phone number. Let me inspect the phone field. Here the content is the input ID of the phone number. Here the lead custom field, that is a lookup field. Let me infect here. The lookup relationship. So here basically we need to, that is a CF, the 15 digit ID of the lookup custom field. Here we need to pass the lookup the field value and here CF, the 15 digit ID of the lookup field ID underscore LK ID. Here we need to pass that the exact lookup ID value. That means if I go here, the lead, I'm opening that lead. The lead name is this one I am passing as a CF, the 15 digit ID. Here I am passing that value, the lookup value. And here I am passing that the relevant lookup ID, the relevant lookup ID. So this way we basically, we can up, approach the URL hacking in Salesforce Classic version. Now I will show you the URL hacking approach for the Lightning experience. These features introduced Salesforce as part of Spring 20. So this is my Lightning experience. Here if you noticed, here I created button, create contact from Lightning experience. 
this is the custom button let me click this one it's popping up the content creation form from over there we populated some free defined values the phone number last name and one of the custom field languages this is a custom field from contact object let me go to the buttons and this is the button i created in lightning for the account object so this is the source we used lightning before that i will show you the what are the parameters we need to pass for the salesforce lightning experience so here this is the parameters we need to pass in order to achieve the default field values in lightning experience here the lightning slash for the conduct this is an object name the object api name if in case we are you we need this approach in the custom object use with the custom the object api name and slash new question mark default field values after that we pass the the custom field api name and the values if you want to perform in the custom field then use with your custom field api name so once you created the button make sure you need to enable in the layout level also i will show you where we need to enable in the page layout level in the lightning experience go to that the relevant page layout select the account layout this is a very important step basically whenever we are creating the button we need to enable from under the mobile and lightning action section click this one and select your relevant button either the button or action quick action i mean so this is the button so it seems i already enabled so i thought to show you so here i placed it under the salesforce mobile and lightning experience action section so that's the reason the button will be appear in my account detail section in the action section let's assume in our object we have a number of record type then how to show the record type selection in record creation page using this default field values approach yes that is possible but only thing you need to use the same lightning o conduct new question mark you need to add that use record type check equal to 1 before the default field values let me show you for this example in the contact object i have some record types so let's see i added this use record type checks equal to 1 before the default field values let me quickly save Let's refresh my account detail. It's clicking the button. Then it's prompt to select the record type selection. See the record type. selection available in the contact creation so if you noticed in the url it's appended the use record type check equal to 1 basically this one we can accomplish with the help of use record type check equal to 1 and even we can predefine the record type also let me show you that approach as well if you append that record type id equal to the relevant record type id the 15 digit id then it's automatically selected that relevant record type id from my case i am selecting this record type id 
but make sure this parameter we need to pass before the default field values I save these changes let's go to refresh Let's click the button again. If you noticed here, the contract record type is repopulated. So here basically where we can get the contact record type is it's, you can get it from object manager, go to the object manager and select the contact and select the record types. So here in our demo, I free set the customer record type value. So if I'm clicking this customer record type label, I can get that 15 digit ID. So that is the one I am passing from my button. Let me show you. This is the 15 digit ID of the record type ID. Let's see. See, these both are same. So, this is the way we can default assign the record type ID as well. So, this is the Salesforce release notes for the Spring 20 to achieve that navigate to record create page with the default field values. Here they not mention about the record type selection. So I added in my demo, maybe it's useful. I will add my blog post link and then this release notes in the video comment section. If this video is helpful, please add your thumb icon and share your friends. Also, please add your feedback in the comment section. Thanks again to watching my video.